Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Rastafarian Raiders in Crusader Kings 2 after the end. So we're still Marquis Lincoln of Grand Cayman. We are infirm at the young age of 53. Uh, we've had a couple day hiatus on this campaign, not because I don't enjoy it um, or because it's ending anytime soon, don't worry. It's actually mostly because I started playing Dota again and it's sucked up all of my time. So, oops. Uh, anyway, uh, can we become a banker? We should become a banker. Can we get monthly income greater than 10 ducats? 8.43. Gosh darn it. We're just so close. We are slightly over the the uh, the domain limit, but um, even if we didn't have that penalty, I don't think we'd be above 10. So I think for now, that's not going to happen. I wonder, is there any chance we maybe get somebody who'd be better? A better woman, perhaps? She's 39. Childbearing age is 16 to 45, so... She could theoretically provide us with another baby, assuming that our infirm Lincoln here can get it up. Right, uh, well, when in doubt, um, raid. That's that's just all that I know. Uh, let's see, we have an army down here. Oh, we're in a war. Right, okay, uh, the Grand Cayman Cartagena de Jour war over Bocas del Toro. Right, 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 I was trying to take the city, and I was really annoyed to find out that we're not getting a ticking war score for some reason. So, what else were we doing? That's the entirety of our army. We routed some of it. Do you have troops right now, sir? It says he has 4,187. I don't know how accurate that is. I was hoping to just, like, hang out over here and get a ticking war score, but it looks like that's not going to happen. Are we actually leading troops even though we're infirm? Nice. Personal combat skill minus five never slowed us down. Well, we do have, uh... All selected armies will cross water to reach this province. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Anyway, we do have a, uh, a fairly sizable army. I think we need to let it sort of hang out in our own territory, though, until we get some of this levy reinforced. Some of the troops should trickle in. They're swimming. Swimming from up here, probably. Or maybe they're just coming from these two provinces. I'm not really sure. Uh, we're going to have to win another battle, then, since we're not getting a ticking war score. There's really no other way about it. Let's wait till that army arrives in Uraba. Army of Armero Army. Armero. You are a vassal underneath that guy. And you are currently... You are defending against me. Okay. Making sure I recognize where that army is coming from. We're not quite fast enough, despite our... The fact, the fact, despite the fact that we have a organizer trait, we're still not fast enough. It's too bad. Okay, I think we're going to stand down, and we're going to let the levy replenish naturally. It does, unless something's changed. In my in my memory, the uh, the levy recovers faster when it's not raised. That may not be true these days. I don't recall. So, fifty-two hundred troops versus his fifty-two hundred. We do have a little bit of money, but not really enough to, to justify hiring mercs. We also have some kind of crappy... Uh, crappy levy composition, I would say. I feel like we... Well, hold on, that's not really exactly true. I mean, the Machetero training ground is going to give us quite a, bit, quite a heavy skew of light infantry, who are kind of crappy. But... Okay, so the concern here is that he's going to siege back Araba. It's going to take him a while. We could probably hang out for like six months. In the meantime, do you think we can get back up to six or seven, six, six and a half thousand troops? That's the real, the real goal. One child lacks a focus, my daughter. We'll train you in the ways of etiquette. Taking back a trade post or something. El Povenir. Oh, he's actually taking back the... No. Okay, he took back the trade post. Now he's sieging El Povenir. Gotcha. Well, good luck. All right, we're going to wait till August, like, the 1st, until we see this next recovery tick. There we go. Only 100 troops. That's not that great. We'll raise in every province that doesn't actually have troops in it right now. We'll hop everyone onto whatever boats they can. Let's get rid of these boats and have these guys head over this way. These two ships are going to need to head up to... Nowhere. Okay, 
because we actually can get all of the troops on those boats. That means that these boats don't even need to be raised. Well, why raise them if you don't need them, right? As the boats trickle in, we'll get rid of them. I was hoping to go raiding, but no. Stuck in this... This du jour war over a silly little trade post, or city, or some nonsense. So we ended up with just the 5,000 troops. That feels so insignificant. And this other army as well. Okay, well, I don't be you. Come down to here, and then come down to here. You'll meet us over here. This, this army is actually larger than mine is still. So... Hmm. It is planes. I'm trying to remember how the hell you find river crossing indicator. There they are. Uh, yeah, Gunayala. So there's a major river crossing, or a river crossing. Uh, what if we come in from the other province? Nope. No, we're going to just have to let them take that province. We try to be the defender here. We've got uh, jungle terrain. The numbers are roughly equal. But a big part of that is actually a neutral force, the Grey Army. 5281 is not exactly what's there. It's it's actually the only the armies that are in red. 4330... 300 and 340. Like 4,700. We've got a slight numeric advantage. I think we just wait. We let we, we just wait and see what he does. That army's heading up north. Occupied by Magdala Sur. Magdalena Sur. Alright, so yeah, this guy is at war. Okay, so that's weird. So his capital is this province, but he doesn't own the top holding. That's why his flag is in this province, even though see how it's gray border. He's not actually in the war. Okay, so he's distracting him to the north. That might actually work out pretty well for us. So we'll make sure that we are in charge of the siege. Let's actually also make sure we've got leaders on the flanks. We could assault, but I don't think we're going to need to do that. So negative war score, only because we've lost a couple of those occupations. Next, I think we just move into here, and eventually, this guy, uh, he may end up running out of money. Got 111 ducats. He's actually gaining at the moment, but... We'll see. Ugh, typhoid fever, that's not cool. Magdalena Sur. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. I think we just go for this city. How strong is this Magdalena Sur guy? Only 1,200 troops, so... I'm not sure why he's had such success here occupying the top holdings, these top cities. Okay, that is our flag, so we will be the guy that wins. That little 436 stack is kind of annoying. We're gonna take, uh, Sucre. My cousin needs a, an education. He is currently playful and rowdy. Seems fine. With quite a few of his provinces being occupied by this Magdalena Sewer guy, I don't know how easy it's going to be to get to 100 war score. Okay, young Marie Jose, <laughs> some random prisoner, became a skilled tactician. 
a dull skilled tactician in prison. Uh, and we make her into a concubine. <laughs> uh, go in the oblet. <laughs> just a random woman, just... I don't want to hear about her again. Get out of here, woman. This game could go so much darker. Like, they could... I mean, I'm sure that people have made mods for it, but like, it could go way, way darker. We're talking like Fifty Shades of Grey dark, like... <laughs> oh! There's all these men and women in prison? Hmm. <laughs> Wonder what shall we, what, what shall we do with them? It's dark. We've lost a lot of troops to these random siege events. This is annoying. A powerful vassal with uh, quite a bit of intrigue. A little bit upset. Also upset that I'm over my domain limit. Um, I don't know. I mean, we could we could put the Minister of the Interior. Let's do this. We'll point this guy as the, the top guy, and then we'll interact with you and say, change council position. We'll switch you with the Foreign Minister. And that way they're both decent-ish. And he should like us a fair bit now. This is the guy who was fairly upset just a moment ago. A little upset with me these days about raised levies. Why don't you s just go off and study technology? Head to the plaque mines. I think still fabricating, trying to fabricate claims down here could save us a few holy wars. Holy war cooldowns. Okay, we successfully occupied everything so we don't have to worry about anyone else swooping in and taking our occupations. This typhoid fever might also be what's causing so much, so much uh, attrition here. Our character hasn't contracted it yet. So, you know, he's avoiding the, uh, the locals or whoever, whoever's spreading typhoid fever. I don't know. Is that like, how do, how do you even get typhoid fever? What does that even mean? We have a vassal who's rather upset. Orin commander. Infidel. Merciless. Okay, so we have this province here, which is the Gracia Divina and Istemeno culture. And this guy, who is upset with us, believes in Gracia Divina. And the reason for that is, since the province religion is Gracia Divina, he got spawned that way. We could revoke it, grant it to somebody else, but it's just going to continuously be a problem until we get the conversion done. I think I may have already talked about that before, but yeah, a little bit of rehash can't hurt, right? At least we're holding even with income. Like, we're not losing too much money. I think we've been about 250 ducats or so this whole episode so far. Heavy losses for them. All right, whatever, I don't really care. Just take the <laughs> take the stupid castle. Speaking of uh, castles, how many like characters do we have that we could ransom? Are we getting any war score from this right now? Uh, no, nothing from that. So let's just ransom whoever we can. We could use the money. It's just like one dude who has like a lot of prisoners that we have a lot of prisoners with. Dude of Sucre. This guy. We captured like his entire family. Panic is, is spreading in Bocas del Toro. There are reports of eerie sounds of the wilderness and livestock disappearing. We've had that event before. There's nothing to worry about. Relax. I will hunt down this beast because I am clearly capable such a thing. We've got a, a playful and haughty. Playful and haughty. Sure, I guess I guess you get that one then. And you are willful and playful. 
Sounds good. I know that the one that I trained for Spy Mastery type stuff had strength, but... Or sorry, she had, uh, yeah, she was strong. The Shepherd's Plea. Your men question local farmers and artisans, and you eventually find your way to the cottage of a shepherd who claims his flock was attacked by the beast. He shows you the mangled body of his prized golden merino. He pleads for you to find the beast before it kills again. Give the shepherd some coin and hand me my spear. We could become brave, charitable, or kind. Okay. We became brave. Awesome. Personal combat skills coming back despite our infirmness. Following the directions of the local farmers, you track the beast to its lair. The leaves nearby are spattered with drops of blood. Leached white bones and other detri detritus. Detritus. That's a real word. I know that word. I've heard it before. I just don't see it often. Detritus slithers the grounds. Enter the lair or prepare an ambush. We're already brave, so let's uh, try to go for patient. With an unearthly bestial noise, a terrible creature lurches out at you from the shadows. It lunges towards you and your men with fearsome madness in its eyes. It moves so quickly that you barely have time to react. Kill the beast. After a swift and brutal flight fight, several beasts lie motionless at your feet. They appear to be a pack of large gray wolves, perhaps driven mad by starvation or disease. Their hides will surely make a fine set of cloaks, and the peasants will be glad their livestock are, are safe. Alright, cool. So it wasn't a beast, it was a, it was a bunch of wolves. You can't forget the rush of adrenaline as you fought the mighty beast. Perhaps it is time to devote your life to testing yourself against the most ferocious creatures of the un of the natural world. Become a hunter. Uh, well, hunter gives us more martial, so by all means. We're back up to 28 martial, even though we're still infirm. And there's that army there that's actually quite sizable. Let's finish this final siege, if we can, and get out of here. Our 3800 can certainly not contest the 4550 that are right there that we're hostile to. Let's do another ransom. And I think, once again, we're going to have to stand these troops down. I'm so annoyed that I'm not getting a... a, uh... ticking war score. We have the damn war goal. Even if it's just a du jour holding war, it should you should still get it for occupying the, the target. In my opinion. So we can raise up to 5,800 troops. 5,800 should be sufficient. Let's re-raise. Let's re-raise the boats. Let's stand down these boats. Let's bring these over here. And depending on whether or not we need these boats... That one's good. That one's fine. That one's good. That one's fine. Then we can stand down all these boats. This is nice, not having to worry about, uh, having too few boats. This is the defensive terrain, let's actually rally to there. Hopefully, it doesn't look like he's coming for us, so we should be alright. We've inherited the Viscountship of Pedro Miguel from Viscount... Okay. So, we got a Viscountship. It's a subholding castle. Uh, that's a lot of castles in this province. I don't think we really want it. Alright, let's search our realm. We'll search our realm for men who are currently not in prison or any marriage. Uh, we don't want current rulers. We want them to be of my religion and my culture. They need to be an adult. And we'd prefer for them to not be of a great house. Because that can cause all kinds of inheritance shenanigans. And then I guess we'll give this to somebody who's got, like, decent martial score and is fairly highly opinionated with us. Hey, and you happen to be content. Francis! Francis. From Malcolm in the Middle. You now get this province. This, uh, this holding, rather. Okay, my son has become a skilled tactician. Young Richard is showing tendencies to be more of a doer than a thinker. Yes, that would be a kind way to describe it. Loses the, the trait rowdy and gets quick. Alright, cool. He should do his own thing. Chance of him becoming brave. Well, what, what kind of chance? I think we want him to become quick. What? Oh, did I, did I read that backwards? Did I take quick from him? 
Shit! Sorry, excuse me, pardon my French, but that's not an exal- Damn it! Where am I? Who are these people? We are now, uh... We lose infirm, we gain incapable. We now have a regency. <laughs> Health minus three. Alright, well, I mean, Lincoln is clearly being punished for, for what he just did. And even despite being that, we still have 23 martial score. We still have more martial score than, like, virtually anyone else in our entire country. So, that's interesting. Right, well, I'm going to take a break here. I do look forward to seeing you again in the next video, as always, and I'll see you next time. See you soon.